Okay, it's been approximately five minutes. I have let the best cleaner ever just kind of sit on my cutting mat for my machine. And I'm going to, the first thing I think I'm going to try is the scraper because there's some really yucky little pieces and clumps of things on here. So I want to try and get that off first before I work on it with my perfect cleaning cloth. So bear with me and I'm just going to scrape and see what happens. Now I can see some of it's coming off. I'm getting like a layer of funk and yucky off of there as you can see on the side here. Remember, I just put one squirt to cover each little area here. And I'm really not even pushing down that hard with the scraper. This is amazing. Okay, so that's how much funk we've gotten off of there. Just by scraping. Kind of gross, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a wipe to wipe that up with because I don't want to get that dirty mess on my perfect cleaning cloth. So I'm just going to wipe this off with a Lysol wipe now. Look at all that stuff that came off of there. That's gross. <laughs> I'm going to put the excess off my cloth tonight here. Okay, and now I'm going to use my Perfect Cleaning Cloth. You can get any of the Scrap Perfect products at www.scrapperfect.com. And I am just going to scrub now because there's still, believe it or not, there's still cleaner on here even though I scraped it. So I'm going to rub all over this mat. With my perfect cleaning cloth. It's actually, it's not even hurting my mat, as you can see, my cloth. It's definitely getting more of the adhesive and the sticky off. I can see it. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I'm gonna do one side and then you can see the one side to the other. Wow, okay, so this side has been cleaned, this side still has funk on it. And I think I'm just going to give it one more spray on this side because I, I really used the heck out of this mat. It was the very first one that I got when I got my machine. And let's see if it makes a difference. Oh, yep, lots more adhesive is coming off. Wow. Okay, you can see a little bit now on my cloth that I've got more of that off. I'm going to do another quick little scrape with my scraper. And as you can see, there's not much coming off because I pretty much got it all off already. Just a little bit. I have to say, I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but I'm super impressed with the outcome. I feel like all of the adhesive is now off of here. And now once I get all of the cleaner off, which is what I'm doing right now, all I need to do to bring this mat back to life is just spray it with a uh, light coat of spray adhesive and I'm perfectly ready to use this again in my machine. 
I don't know if you can tell, but it's a lot cleaner than it was. No sticky. My hands aren't sticking to it. And this just saved me $15. So thank you very much to the best cleaner ever and the perfect cleaning cloth available at scrapperfect.com. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Kim Lippincott here today to try and experiment and show you some tips and tricks for how to use the best cleaner ever and the perfect cleaning cloth from Scrap Perfect. I can't tell you guys how amazing this cleaner is. I have tried it on my car upholstery. I have tried it on my phone, my scissors, different things. And one of the things that really annoys me to pieces is when I have to buy a new mat for my machine because all of the sticky has come off and it's been worn to pieces. As you guys can see, it's extremely gnarly and dirty and it's got a bunch of stuff on it. So what I'm going to do is we are going to spray some of the best cleaner ever all over this mat. And a little does go a long way. So I'm just really going to do one spritz per section here and I am going to let this sit for about five minutes so I want you guys to get a good look at the before here's my yucky gross cutting mat that I don't want to replace and I want to see if I can give new life to with the perfect cleaning cloth and the best cleaner ever from Scrap Perfect so I'm going to stop the video here for about five minutes and let this sit and then come back and we'll see how it turns out be right back 